labeling or coding windows and doors in floor plans and other views of architectural projects. It is a task that is necessary at some stage of the project. In today's video, we are going to look at how to create, place and code these windows and doors effectively. And we are going to do this by letting Archicad automate the lot of process in this stage. Hello everyone, this is Mesolite Visual with another video. Without any further ado, let's jump straight on to it. This is the project that I'm going to use for this exercise. Um, it has a couple of doors and windows that we can um, really place labels on it. But before we start, we're going to start by labeling doors. Let's, let us first set the marker or the door label first before we can even place it. If you go to documents and then there is a label tool there, activate it and then go to settings dialog to set up our label or marker. Under type and preview, you find there's a list of um, different annotation label for labeling um, different uh, or anything you know, any elements or components in your project. But then where our interest is on doors and windows of which is this one. If you select the door or the label door marker 11, this is the preview. It has been set before. If you go to symbol label custom settings to check the settings. Under, under options, we have different shapes there that we can choose or use to label or to place a label in our doors. I prefer a circle to do uh, door labeling. I'll leave it there. And then if, uh, if you check on under text settings, there is font type and then there's font size as well. I also have it on five, five millimeters. And then under pens for graphic um, representation on floor plans and other views, I have here pens that I can use. I've already set to pen seven, of which is, I find it perfect for doing annotations and labeling um, purposes. And then hit OK. From there, there are ways, there are a lot of ways of placing the label. You can click on each, every a door like this but imagine when you're dealing with a complex project where you have more than 50 doors in one floor it will be cumbersome right yeah but the the method that i'm going to show you is uh, labeling all all doors in this view in this plane or in this level once by, by, by using the the label label all selected elements um, too. So to do that, let us get rid of this um, label we placed before and then go to design. From design, activate the door and then hit control A in your keyboard. This is, I find this is a perfect way of selecting all elements in, in one class um, in Archicad. If you have any way uh, a different way than mine. I would like to hear from you guys. Go to comment section and share with us. And then from there, you go to document. Under documents, let's find annotations. Annotations, and then it will direct you to uh, label selected elements. Boom. All the doors have been placed a label. If you check all the laws, all of them. Perfect, right? And then an, um, another problem here is the um, overlay of information on top of our label. So the best way to solve this problem is to go back to our documents and then select the label or activate the label. And then again, hit control A in your keyboard to select all elements in this uh, category. And then right click, go to display order and then bring to front bring to front and then all of our label will be sitting or overlaid on top of all, all elements in this project. Perfect. Another problem is that all the doors are, are labeled doors, door one, door one, door one, door zero one, all of them. This is wrong, right? Because we have got different types of doors in this project. So the best way is to do coding. The coding is wrong. So to do coding, you select, go back to um, the design tool palette and select or activate the door, the door tool. From there, hit control A again to select all elements. From there, we're going to list this thing again. 
we're going to list this by going to documents and then find listing extracts and then element id manager yeah hang on a bit still loading perfect there we go this is the window of the element id manager we've got two sections here this is the section for uh, availability of all different kind of criteria and then here this is where we set the criteria um, for example if you want to set a criteria where we have um, same doors in terms of the size and shape or design to be in the same or one id we can set that here under selected criteria so we can do this for example let's find the the height and then add to the criteria and then the width add to the criteria this means all of the doors that share the height and window they're going to be in one id or one coding okay but for the sake of this demonstration i want all the doors to be unique id i'm gonna get rid of this remove and then remove i will have all the doors with a unique id right by clicking on this unique id for each element and then from there go to id format under id format we've got one two three four uh, uh columns for our characters this is the preview um we already have a previous set for this this is the preview door zero one this door prefix here we can change this to anything you want but i will I'll leave it a door to represent uh i mean a d to, rep to represent door sorry and then um here i'll leave two two characters to accommodate um numbering or uh, that is above 10. if your doors are more than 10 it means you need to accommodate for one character there or for two characters sorry so i'll leave it at two and then this is the preview and then configurable these are 16 doors selected and then from here we're going to change the id you see now every door has been assigned a unique id from d01 to d16 and then under d01 there is only one one door under zero two each and every category here or coding has one door in it i hope it makes sense guys okay from there you can check our old doors have a unique id perfect start from zero one to number 16. perfect okay so we're left with windows we're going to do the same it's the same operation like windows but before we need to set up the the the, the marker for for windows it's going to be different from from the the door label so to do so let's go to documents and then under label and then check the settings dialog for this um then under type and preview let's pick the window label and then this is the previous set or the previous settings for this if you go back to or under label custom settings and then let's change under options let's change the circle to maybe hexagon which one is it better octagon or hexa which one is it better guys go down in the comment section and share with us i'll go with the octagon and then um text settings arial i'll change it to five i mean sorry the the font size to five and then if you go to pens change pen seven i'll do seven everything seven 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 and then let's check the position of the marker from the the window it says the distance is 1.5 i want i'll leave it at 250 maybe it's fine there go back to the type and preview 
this is your your privy. Ah, no, guys. Let me change the ship. I didn't know Octagon can look horrible this way. <laughs> Go back to symbol, label custom settings, and then change to hexagon. Then type in preview. I prefer this one. Perfect. Then hit OK. From there, we need to select all of our windows so that we can place this label we've been set. So to do so, you do the same um, procedure. Go to design and then activate the tool, the window, and then control A in the keyboard to select all elements. From here, you go to document. Documents under annotation, let's find label selected elements. Perfect. There we go. Yes, I know the uh, size and blah, blah may look horrible, but it's the foundation where we can work with. So go back to document and then um, select label. Control A in the keyboard. Check what happened, guys. Now, Ghana, we have um, uh, door labels and then window labels selected at the same time or all ones. But what we want here, we want only the the window labels. You can do this. If you say undo and redo, it will automatically select um, newly created elements or object in your, your screen. So it is a, one of the tricks that I have been using for a while, guys. It saves me a lot of time of trying to select, reselect um, elements. So, yeah, if you have any way of doing this, you can go down to the comment section again and share with us how you can select these elements. Sorry, guys, I had distraction this side in the office. Um, we're going to change or set up the, uh, the style and the size of this label. <clears throat> like... They're all being selected, right? Then go to settings dialog. From there, under symbol label custom settings, let's change the size of the the size of the marker. I don't think it's here. Go go to a symbol label. Yeah, this way it is. Let's link the dimensions first, and then change it to maybe five hundred. Automatically to change the other side. Perfect. Hit OK. I think it's good. I think the size is good. What do you think, guys? I think it's good. Um, um, the only problem we're having here is the marker sitting on top of the window. We want it be a bit off. Off. It's either inside or outside. Off by some distance. Go back to settings dialog from there change the marker distance maybe increase to 50 to something like 500 or maybe 600 oh sorry 600 then hit ok oh no way no way this doesn't do us justice guys it changes the 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 mark the position vertically not horizontal that is a problem. Let's go back to the settings and check how we can try. Um, mark a distance. If you say zero and I think zero work works well. Mm, zero works well. Uh, I find it difficult for, for this type of thing. What I can do is to, unlike doors, doors I can set it to zero and then it will be really straight on the top of the thing. But this one, I'll manually drag this to the positions I feel like it doesn't clutter with other information. Just like that. It's unfortunate, guys. We can't automate everything. I wish we could um, automate any process, but uh, sometimes the human input is also needed. 
it's also needed I will just move them just like so hmm. move it like so move it that way this I can select oh sorry in this case you can select this all of this and then move it once by using a mark you tool and then mark you only this area and then we go to label activate the label and then hit so that you can now drag all these guys once like so at least you saved uh, some minutes or seconds there <laughs> yeah you can do the same on this one move it back that one also yeah make sure it's it's neatly done you want your your drawings to be really well represented perfect yeah i think this is good this is good don't forget oh, this the coding also affects the scheduling guys so this id will be reflected also in the schedule uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah okay thank you guys for your attention i'm really pleased for me sharing this with you guys um i thought it need, needed sharing so if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified for new updates and then if you are regular uh, thank you for your uh, your your support uh, make sure you share like this video for me to keep creating this type of content for you guys thank you i'll see you in the next video